I'm sure somewhere in your room there is a calendar with the date marked off. Today you get to start your work. Please don't get me wrong. I'm happy for you. I really am. I hope moving helps you find whatever it is you are looking for. Even though I'm not sure you know what that is. It's short of like the way we met. Random and unforeseen. I'm sure you probably think I had preconceived notions of how it would play out, but I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. Because if I had, you would have far exceeded any expectations I set. I don't think there is anything wrong with that. In fact, I think there is something to be said for plans that go astray. On a Wednesday night at the end of December. I never would have imagined that I would find myself captivated by a stranger. You had the ability to do what so many people before you couldn't intrigue me. It's possible that all along I knew you were a bad idea, but somewhere between the laughter, conversation, and the uncanny ability to be myself, the potential consequences of knowing you disappear. Moments like that are hard to come by. A needle in a haystack, if you will. I realized that night that you were different than most, and I was lucky enough to be the one who got to watch you shine. If only for a moment, I am the girl who feels deeply. I've learned that this trait is one that is both a blessing and a curse. I fell in love with sunsets, books, music, even moments. I know this sounds far-fetched and idealistic, but meeting you wasn't some twist or feather of a magic moment. I didn't experience love at first sight. Instead, I experienced a sense of peace for the first time in what felt like an eternity. I remembered what it felt like to appreciate the little things about someone. Thank you.